generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyaver, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Since your brother is leading our forces south and I'm going with the Arl, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt, spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Shouldn't you be off to your brother, as I asked? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems, but I want you to prepare the men left here, in case. Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, you must prepare for the worst. I trust you to do what is best. And don't be afraid to ask your mother's advice. She's Feraldenborn, strong. Just as you are. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. I'll talk to you soon. Just let me finish my meeting with Duncan. Yes? We fought together under King Merrick when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. 
It will be good to ride beside your father again. Your father hasn't spoken of our time with him? That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> it's too bad Kalen isn't half that. I think of him as much as he thinks at all. That's enough, Hal. You speak of our king. Oh, the boy did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you allow, I merely offered my opinion. The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. I'm sure there will be much to discuss once I return. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. In a manner of speaking, if I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess, my confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. I thank you. That is quite unnecessary. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Very well. I doubt your father would mind a slight delay. Indeed. We spotted a horde assembling in the Korkari Wilds not three weeks ago. Luckily, King Kaelan took us at our word and marshaled Ferelden's forces quickly. The first battles have already been fought. Your father and I must move quickly. Thousands. Perhaps ten thousand or more in this horde. Normally the Darkspawn stay in the deep roads. It bodes ill that so many risk the surface. Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a blight? And not simply some large, darkspawn raid? No archdemon has been sighted yet, my lord. But with my entire soul, I believe this is a blight. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves once we arrive at the King's camp. Of course. You are young, skilled, and obviously responsible if your father is willing to turn his castle over to you. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody. And I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I will not do so. Our order is too small to risk animosity with Ferelden's nobility. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's tempting, your lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. I have only found a couple of worthy candidates in my travels across Ferelden. Your father invited me here, suggesting this Sir Gilmore. If he is not suitable, I will head south and join up with the king. Not well. King Kaelin is an eager young man who has shown great wisdom in responding to the Darkspawn threat. I've heard he is a bit enraptured with the Grey Warden legend, and that is why he caters to your order. How? That is unworthy of you. He only repeats what we've all heard. Whatever the King's reasons, I'll take his support. The priority is defeating the Darkspawn before they threaten all of the realm. Until we speak again. <laughs>